Yeah, if you are new here, my name is Maureen Peters, aka Maureen XO, and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I owe a lot of people an apology. I am sorry I've been MIA. This vlog is going to explain a lot, but right now I'm just about to wash my face and do my nighttime routine. So, you guys know I actually go to clinic aesthetics for my face here. Um, I went to them, I've been on a routine, I was already seeing results. Then I kind of sleep. And then my first word they gave me actually finished and then I went back and they gave me some dual cleanser but unfortunately for me that cleanser has not been good for me so I'm back now on this um, this is like it has the same ingredients as the one I was using before so this is what I'm currently using now a friend put me on and I checked it with my dermatologist and yeah this is good I had like active breakouts two days ago but just I just use this for two nights now and they're already drying up. I can't really put my face to close the camera right now because I need facials. No, I'm sure you can still see something. Anyways, so yeah. And I'm back now and when I tell you that I'm very I'm learning so many things about myself. It's like this journey of life, we just keep learning. We never really just stop learning, you know, like we just keep learning and it's it's crazy. But this point I've accepted it and what I've learned is that you don't learn from home, you learn on the road. You know, so I used to be very fond of like if things go wrong or if I feel like oh, things are going wrong, I'll just go back to my show and just plan again and come back out. But like, I can't really do that all the time. It's really not that I'm trying to put myself out there. I'm trying to really live in my purpose, which is to help people. You know, so I can't really just go back out, go back in just because I feel like things are not going the way I want to go. I just have to keep going. Like the breaks, there's no need for all that long breaks anymore. I could literally take three months break, four months break, five months break. I'm not talking to anybody, I'm just by myself, honestly, I'm not speaking to no soul from my family, I'm just by myself, I'm just, I've been like this since I was born, I'm just on my, by myself, just reading books, I'm just doing something, just like learning myself, you know, but right now, I feel like I can't do that anymore, when things go wrong, I need to just come, like, I'm still faced it, like, things are going wrong, but I don't, even when things are right, like, I don't just need to ghost, that's where I'm at right now, like, you don't need to ghost, actually, you don't actually need to ghost, stop ghosting, because, I'm learning, I used to be a very, very bad communicator, like I used to be a ghost star, literally, like I would ghost you. <laughs> I would literally ghost you. If I'm, I, I would just ghost you, I would ghost the world. But that's not the way to go. You can just go ghost. This is deeper than life. You know, so yeah, that's what I'm learning now. And I'm also really learning the power of prayer. It's like when you say you're something, yeah, the universe, the world, just say, oh, you say you're this thing. Okay, let's test you. You know, so. It's okay, I like Beyonce said, I'm making mistakes and I'm learning from my mistakes and um, I'm not afraid to make mistakes, but right now I'm really getting tested, exactly my words. So that's why I'm anyway, like I'm back now and I've missed you guys. I've really missed like uploading on YouTube and see my subscriber counts go up and literally like, get positive messages that, oh Marie, I loved your video, when you said this is the resonated with me, da 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 da. I've missed all that. I've missed posting on my Instagram page, like my pictures. Oh, I'm always keeping up my story. My favorite place to be is my Instagram story. I'm always posting on my IG stories. I feel like this is so funny. I don't know. I'm wearing it because this is six minutes, bro. Like right now, I'm at, a, at I'm right now I'm at a place in life where I want to put out what I want to put out. I don't care if it's too long. I'm gonna put it out. Do you understand? So maybe this video will just be on its own, then the vlog will come after. Because I mean, dear need of self-care. Another thing about me that I'm trying to change is that once I once I don't feel good, I don't think that's something I actually need to change. I think it's something that just happens. Once I don't feel good in my mental, it starts to tell my relationships, I tell my face, my weight, my finances, everything is just going down here and then when I'm not praying like when I'm not praying is when I now start to feel bad you know like I always say on my channel I'm not perfect but listen I'm a child of grace like God loves me he loves me so much and he tries to teach me everything I need to know you know I always say like when my definition comes from the word of God so God has been telling me he keeps saying when your definition comes from me like are you really in my word do you really know what I say about you are you really in my word so yeah that's what I'm learning now I don't want to be like coming to the universe, like coming to the world and prophet and say things in my mouth. You know what? Only the word of God defines me. I'm a child of God. And then behind the scenes, I'm not really dwelling in the word of God. That would be the most stupid thing I can do to myself. So that's where I'm really at. I'm really about the life that I say I am. Like, this is where I'm at right now, just to be authentic. 
and if I feel like I'm still learning, I'm not gonna come here and start saying I start like affirming, you know, until I know that I'm really doing the work. If I, I can now come and say, you know, so right now, yeah, I'm a child of God, I'm a Christian, and I, will, I believe so much in Jesus Christ, and I believe so much in the gospel, I believe in the word of God, because like I said in my previous video, that's the only thing that doesn't change. So why should I not believe in the word of God? Hello. Hello. So yeah, so right now, I'm just like, I'm just like really trying to get into the Bible, I'm understanding it, I've been reading the word of God, and I've been reading in different I don't like using my phone to study the word of God. I like to have like a, an actual Bible because when I'm using my phone, I feel like I get distracted and then I start pressing my phone or something. You know, so let's just wash our face after talking too much. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm back. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I'm so happy. I'm currently on a staycation. I knew that it. I'll show you. I'll show you guys the. Ah, oh, I'll show you guys even guys the tour. But I don't think it's needed, right? And I'm just like, no, oh, I can't wait to have this in my house. Like, oh my god, it's such a big, big, big sort of interior decor, like architecture, a beautiful space. Just look at this bathroom, it's so beautiful. Last time I saw a bathroom was beautiful was in Dubai. I mean, they paid attention to details here, like, that's the kind of thing I like. Detailing, but let me tell you something the fucked up part is that since I got here, I've been. Since I've got here, I've been showering literally in the bathtub because I don't understand the essence of having this kind of fast shower and I don't know how to put it on. Like, how am I supposed to put this on? The caretaker of the apartment came here himself, herself, and then she couldn't like put it on. Why do you have this fancy ass shower if I have to fill a whole ass form just to own the shower? I have to like go to school, graduate, just because I want to own shower. That's too much. When I said to myself, okay, no more, let's actually do this content creative thing. Let's put ourselves out there. I was like, I don't want to do it half ass. I don't want to come online and be something I'm not like. And miss me with that. Okay, this is real life. Of course, I'm not going to show you guys like, oh, me crying, me brushing my teeth, and I'm not going to bring all that to the internet. But like, I don't want my life, my real life, my social media life to be completely different, like so different. Like, oh, I want it to, I want to feel at home on YouTube, especially. Like, I really love talking to the camera. You know, I feel like I'm talking to people that love me, and I feel like I'm talking to people that I love. You know, so why would I be lying to somebody that I love? Why would I be faking it to somebody I love or somebody that already loves me? You know, they love me for who I am. So why would I come here and not fake it? I don't want to attract people because I faked it. You know. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's go shall we? So, like I said, I'm in the of self-care. So don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. I'm going to get my self-care done. I've also, let me just cut my face. I have a little to see. Oh my god. This wash is so good. You guys, please run. Don't walk. Run. You understand? See the outside down like this. Don't walk. Run, literally. And the dermatologist said, wash your face for one minute. That's what I've been doing. So yeah. Now I'm going to let it dry because I don't have my face towel up here. So I'm just going to let it air dry. I'm so excited. Next week I'm launching new products in my business. You guys, you know I have a business. Anybody that knows me knows I have a business. Obviously, other girls know. So since I moved to Vegas, I'm trying to find a balance. You, know, you want to do YouTube, you want to have a business, you want to do real estate. Don't play yourself, okay? Because like we're in August and you need to lock in one thing. Like you need to lock in and build yourself around that thing before you start saying, oh, I want to do YouTube, I want to do real estate, I want to do because this is whole different personality. One thing about being actually very talented and being that girl is that you can actually do anything. But if you let the fact that you can do anything play you, you go, you don't want to do anything like jack of all trades, master of none. So that's another journey that I'm on right now. That life has said, you know what? Sit down and let me show you what the path you're really supposed to be on. You can do all these things, but you need to just pick one and you know niche down 
and get that and be a master of that thing before you can. So right now, my YouTube channel, like I'm telling you guys, is so authentic to my real life. I'm not going out of my way because I want to go and make content. This is just my life. This is my lifestyle. That's the kind of content that I'm putting on. That's the kind of content I'm in the books. You know, what makes me happy? What makes me feel like morning? That's what I'm going to put out. The things that I love, the things that I like to do. You know, in real life here, yeah, I don't like to show people myself. Honestly, I, I keep myself for the better. It's very rare that people meet me and not like me. I mean, it's like you have very, very horrible taste. But people love me, but they don't understand me because I'm not for them. So I just reserve myself. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm going to post on my YouTube channel like, like my kids are going to watch this. Obviously, they're going to watch this. And my kids are not going to be ordinary people, obviously. So I want them to watch it and say, you know what? These challenges that I'm facing, my mom faced them. And this is how she conquered. Like, look at her. Look at like. This is like a digital something, like a digital diary for me now. YouTube is like a digital diary for me, like real life. So yeah. So that's them are. So you guys, the problem with me now is that if I now become, if I now show you guys authentically who I am, yeah, I'm gonna fall in love with you guys. And then you guys are gonna love me. And then we're gonna be stuck together for life. So if you know that you don't wanna love me, Get out of my channel now. Don't go. I'm just joking. <laughs> don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Don't worry, just say. Forget about what I just said. Crush it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I think my face is dry now. So today is retinol night. I'm going to get into retinol for, but this is my body cream. This is what I use for my body. The goats. But I'm trying to get into retinol for. Retinol for. I'm trying to get into retinol body cream because I've been using this retinol body wash. But I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I don't feel safe with it because if I even do it at night, because it's a body wash, I don't really know how it works. So I think I'll just keep my body wash milled, like the normal dove, the normal natural material. So I think I really like that. Maybe I'll touch a picture. I really like that one. But this one, I don't buy this one like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be purchasing this one. I will be buying it again. But I'm gonna get into retinol for body advanced chemicals. I think I just want to get pretty well. So we're gonna real. I don't think I'm gonna post this video because I've no my I was gonna be see, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. Okay, so this video is gonna go up and then the vlog is gonna come later. But this video is gonna go up by like, tomorrow for sure. So yeah, I think my face has dried enough. <sighs> I don't like to, I don't want to, I don't want to apply body cream until I've applied face cream because of my hands. So, yes, I have a lot coming. <laughs> I have a lot coming, like a lot coming. I'm like, oh, right. Are you sure? Like, yeah, I'm worried. I'm sure. We are sure because we got you, okay? Just go for it, Mary. We got you. You know, we tried to make very, very small, like a pea size. You never do more than a pea size. And then you have to, have, you have to um, avoid the fine lines of your face. Go smile lines, you almost have to do things. You guys, I read to um, I read I read one book and I'm currently reading one book about um prayer and honestly please Please just go and get it if you're like me and you really want to understand the dynamics of prayer. Like, why do we have to pray? Why are they always telling us, pray? And you want to make him pray, pray. Why are they always saying that to us? Because one thing about me, I'm going to question everything. Everything. I have questioned everything. There's some kind of conversations that if I start talking about it, like the things I've questioned in my mind, they're going to take me to rehab immediately. <laughs> immediately. Because I question everything. So why do they always tell us to pray? And then I noticed that. Prayer really plays a big role, like big role. So what, what 
is this prayer thing? And then I start to dig into books. Obviously, all the answers in the Bible, you know, but I'm a beginner. And the Bible is not really... I feel like there are so many codes in the Bible that the deeper you go in the spirit, the more you understand. You can read one verse. I can read one verse now that literally says, The Lord is my shepherd. And then when I'm deep in the spirit, the Lord is my shepherd is going to have 5,000 meanings. Do you understand? So I feel like the Bible is not... I, I, when I started trying to read the Bible, I wasn't really understanding. What I'm reading, I'm getting lost. But when I dive into these books and then I come back to the Bible, I understand better. You understand? And then I started listening to... I've actually been listening to one of the authors, Mads Monroe, for a long time. I was to Joshua Selman actually mentioned him and then I went on YouTube, I checked for him and I've been listening to him. You know, but that book really made me understand prayer a bit. And you guys should just read it, please. Just read it because prayer plays such a big role. Honestly, like when I'm in prayer, I'm when I'm not in prayer, I'm a whole different person. When I'm praying, I'm just so focused. Like I'm literally living my life JJ. Like I'm living today. I'm so happy. Like something as little as somebody just telling me on the street, good morning. I'll be so happy. Good morning. I care about everything. I love everybody. I'm so happy. I want to do things, I wake up in the morning, I want to, I'm motivated, I'm disciplined, I want to work, I want to do my business, I want to support myself, I want to support people around me because I'm praying, and then once I'm not praying, everything just goes down here, it's like, what the fuck is this person, like my thoughts, it's like the devil just say, oh, you know what, I'm going to show you Pepe, so I really want to understand why my life is like tied so much to prayer, that's why I started reading these books, and honestly, I recommend you guys, please, go and get it and read it, and apply, you know the thing about the books here, it's so easy to break down, because you can literally just really understand, it's okay, this is how I get and go to God in prayer. It just it just explains so many things. Just get it and read it. But if you guys want me to do a breakdown of what I learned from the book, comment down below and I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna explain, give you a breakdown of what I learned in prayer, about the books on prayer. But one thing you need to know is that prayer is how you can let um, the supernatural, like that's how you can let God intervene in your life because when God came to the earth, when he created men, he gave, he gave us dominion, he told us that he gave us dominion about everything on the earth and God's word is final, so he has already given you dominion, he cannot come down and do against your will, you have to give him the permission to come and do what he's supposed to do through you, do you understand, that's what the whole essence of what prayer is, so imagine you're telling God, like God, why are you letting me go through all this? Why are you not in prayer? He, he can't do anything about you, about it. He's actually just going to be watching you. He's going to protect you, obviously. He will lead you to things that will still bring you back to him because you need to give him that permission to do what he wants to do in your life. But when you're in prayer, everything just works out. Even when it's not working out, it's working out for your good. Do you understand? So if you're like me and you, you are very curious and you want to understand and you just like honestly love God, you honestly just love God. Because for me, like, why does this person, this, why does this being okay like god is a supernatural being yeah like why does this being love me so much what about me that he loves me why is he protecting me why is he so jealous of me why does he keep me different like what is about my life like i think i don't deserve this love so the least i can do is pour love this person no i'm sorry i said this person like love god back you know like this it's just it's just that simple he loves me so much why can't i love him back and then how can i say i love him when i don't do the things he loves just like saying you love me you don't buy me gifts I'm not gonna listen to you. So God's own love language is to pray to Him, pray to Him, studying His word. That's His love language. So yeah, just like you say, you love me, you're not teaching me. You're saying you love me, you're not teaching me. You're not protecting me. You're not my safe space. Like you're literally not buying me gifts. That's my love language. You're not doing that. I mean, you're supposed to believe that like, you love me. It's the same thing with God. So you can't say, oh, you love God. You want God to do everything for you. And then you can't pray to him. You can't talk to him. You can't ask for his um, opinions. You can't ask for his direction. You can't spend time his word and hear from him. How do you expect him to believe that you love him? He already loves you, even though you're not even worthy. Like, we're not worthy of the love that God has for us, but he already loves us. So it's not because you love him by he loves you. He already loves you. There's nothing you can do that can take away the love of God from you. But the least thing you can do to be a great human being is to love him back. So yeah, get that book if you're interested in that. I mean, plug you guys to the best books. Honestly, like, I really be plugging you guys to the best books. These days, I'm trying to get into novels. Because when I was younger, I used to love to read, like, romantic novels. <laughs> That's what I mean. Somebody also, someone, someone, someone in my life always tells me that I love fairy tale. Like, you're not, he always says, more you're not a real person. Like, you're literally living a fairy tale life. Your life is like a movie. I'm like, yeah, this is just the beginning. Where God is taking me that I'm dragging my feet, where he's taking me, my life is like Hollywood, blockbuster. 
literally because the books I read when I was younger maybe just you know there's something I'm going like I just the Korean movies that played a huge role you know, the books I read the novels I read the Korean movies just made my definition of the world and love different but now I'm trying to get back to me like novels because like I said in my first video I've been reading a lot of self-help books now I'm reading more prayer books like I'm no longer reading old discipline and all that I feel like if I can get my foundation with God like my prayer life all those things are just gonna come like seek for the kingdom of God and every other thing will be added on to you right so if I can get that power every other thing will be added on to me so that's that's like all I'm focused on right now my prayer life So yeah, you guys, thank you for doing my nice care with me. Mm -hmm. Someday soon, I'll film another one. But this one was just like, prepare you guys. And just you guys what's happening to you. Like, why I've not been posting. Even though it's just an excuse. And my brother always tells me, like, funny enough, I was the first person that told him that too. My brother is a happy working man. My brother is the man. Wait, you know, when I said, what? my brother's. When I'm talking about Kefas right now, like my brothers are hard working men, so they really like get to the place when they're like, you know what, um, they don't want to work or they're lazy or they're not feeling motivated or shit like that. So I just told them that you guys obviously look at where you're going because look at Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is somebody that he said in my interview that they asked somebody asked him, said, when he wakes up in the morning and he doesn't feel like working, what does he do? He was like, what is that? There's nothing like he doesn't wake up and say, you know what, I don't feel like that. Like he doesn't know what that is. Because if he wakes up, if he's supposed to go to Tesla today and create new cars, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Whether he feels like it or not, because he woke up, that means the work needs to get done. You know, so I always tell them that like that's how you guys know that you're on the right path. Because me, like I be peeping game. Honestly, like I be peeping game. If I see that you got a game, I'm gonna see I'm gonna watch you, like what you're doing, how you get in there, and I'm gonna pick what I can pick from there, get inspired, put it to my own source. Do you understand? So I always tell them like when you're on the, when you're on the right path, like you just look at the people that are doing what you're doing and like people that did what you did. You understand? You know where you're going. So funny enough, that's the same thing that they're not telling me. My brother's telling me like just do what you have to get done. You know, because I felt like I, I was meant. I felt like I was meant to support. To be honest, I felt like I was I was put in this earth to be a support system. Like I didn't really see that it was I needed to do the work myself. I, I thought that. I was going to be support. That's why when I'm around anybody, I, I give you my advice, honestly, because I feel like I'm a supporting character. To be honest, that's why I felt. I felt like I was a supporting character. I'm the main character in my life, obviously, but like when it comes to goals and achieving stuff, like I wanted to just be behind the scenes of a great thing, like a great impact. But I didn't know that <laughs> that's what God created me for. He didn't create me for behind the scenes. He created me for I am the same. Gong gong. Do you understand? So, yeah, so what is going on? Just get done. Okay, so my pattern of vlogging, my style, everything is about change, like right? to be real and aligned. So I don't get burnt out because when you're trying to do stuff for the camera, you're going to get burnt out at some point if it's not authentic, you know. So. So that is for my nine care routine um because i'm just trying to test the waters first before i come back online <laughs> if i come back on youtube because i've been online at least this time around yeah i didn't really go ghost for everywhere like i didn't go ghost on snapchat on instagram and i think i'm growing and i'm so proud of myself okay bye guys catch you in my next video okay love